Alright, yo, it is Jiggity June 1 Thrizzle 201 Sizzle. You feel me? And today we got a new RuneScape update for y'all. So let's jig it out. We got yet another update to the Invention skill. As of today, you'll be able to augment the tier 90 Sirenic, Malevolent, and Tectonic armors, as well as the refined Anima Core body and legs of each new God Wars 2 faction. And the following shields will be able to be augmented as well. The Bandos War Shield, Armadale Buckler, Ward of Subjugation, the Dragon Fire Shield, all three variants, every variant of the Spirit Shield including Blessed, all of the Dungeoneering Tier 80 Shields, the Crystal Ward and Deflector, and the Attuned Crystal Ward, Deflector, and Shield as well as Malevolent, Vengeful, and Merciless Kite Shields that you get from Rots. Now come on Jagex, let's get that Charge Drain Rate fixed, do you feel me? That shit is straight garbage. I mean you already need 80 and various other expensive skills. Then you want to dip into my pockets even more with these Charge Rates? Like come on dog. I mean I personally think that the cost of the Charge Drain Rate should be close to the same prices that it costs to repair the unaugmented versions or at least just slightly more because right now it's nothing but a deterrent to use perks on your skills for everyday things like Slayer. It's pointless. It's too expensive. Not to mention anybody buying these energies just to train Divination. They get penalized for it because it's so expensive already. I mean it's a mess. It's a mess. Change it. I know I went on a rant here but change that shit Jagex. Moving on, we got two new tweaks to combat. And every time I'm in a wildy, I hear yak, 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 men down. Anyways, on a serious note, they've made some pack yak changes to the pack yak ability in the wilderness, you feel me? You're no longer going to be able to use the winter storage scroll if you're beyond level 30 wilderness to prevent people from avoiding losing their stuff in a PK fight by banking it off before they die. Now this is met with a little bit of controversy apparently because it's gonna really hurt anybody who's doing those lava strike worms. They're already very scarce and nobody or very few people rather are really even doing it and now it's just gonna be making it even worse because you can't bank those ashes which were the main reason why people even bothered to go and now you're just killing it so I mean maybe they'll do something about that but as of right now it's hurting that area. The second tweak they're doing today is a huge buff to the fight kiln. All the monsters in the fight kiln are going to have buffed HP and they're going to be hitting you much harder. The most notable of buffs, the Jads now have 40k HP up from 7.9. And Hara Ken now has 150k HP up from 48k. So these two are going to be much more beefy. On a side note, however, you can now surge in the fight kiln. So that's interesting. So anybody who didn't get the Tarkar cape up until now, why were you sleeping on it? Now it's going to be difficult. I mean, I don't know how hard the difficulty is. They still say if you are using tier 80 gear, which was available on release of the fight kiln, you should still be able to do it with relative ease. Well, they don't say relative ease, but you know it's going to be relatively easy with the way we're accustomed to higher tier bosses nowadays. But anybody struggling in that lower mid tier, it's going to be a feat for you. Bear that in mind. Don't go in there thinking it's going to be what all the guides say recently. It's going to have to be redone. Anybody who's already done the fight kill prior to this update, your fight kill timers will be reset. So if you want to go for the high records, you're going to have to start again. I ain't too mad at this, it was ridiculously easy, and uh, hey, maybe it'll make uh, Onyxes go up a little bit, make it a decent money maker, and make the cape a little bit more prestigious. Next up, let's check out some ninja fixes. Now the ninja's been dabbling into that invention as well. Any unused fishing rod o -matics that have no gizmos are stackable in your bank, and you can convert any existing ones in your bank to the stackable version with the right click option. Augmented items now show up in the wealth evaluator under untradeable wealth. Any augmentable shield bows can now have a weapon and armor perk. You can now only be able to right click your augment items to dissemble instead of destroy so you don't accidentally break them and not get the XP. In order in order to make tier 90 augment gear, you must make it at an invention workbench. You can now disassemble items while in combat. You can now check the item XP of 
your augmented items by mousing over it and it shows it at the bottom as I'm showing on screen right now. And any items that you lose in the wilderness that are augmentedly charged will keep their charges. All that aside for today's update they did have a bunch of worlds that were down for a lot longer at the time of this update and hopefully that fixed that crash that happened the other day because uh, apparently that pissed off a lot of people. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for the major patch notes. There's a couple of other fixes to the NXT client. If you want to go check it out yourself, the link will be in the description below. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit me up for more. See you next week. Peace.